Hi everybody, I just want to come on and make a video about Michael Vick. Michael Vick played for Virginia Tech in college. Um, he went on to be drafted by the Atlanta Falcons. He was a quarterback, amazing athlete, with a rocket arm, with some of the best athletic ability that's ever been at the quarterback position in the NFL. Uh, he played, he had a stint with the Eagles. He also played for the Steelers a little bit. <laughs> so I always wonder what would Michael Vick be like if he played in today's NFL? It's because I think coach, coaches now in the NFL, they're more open to understanding how to, how to, Run an offense when you have an athlete, a quarterback like Michael Vick, who has who's dynamic runner and passer. All we have to do is look at Lamar Jackson to see that that's true these days. You know, in Michael Vick's day, um, and, and his, when he was drafted, I think the league was still looking for the classic drop back passer. They were looking for the Tom Brady's, for the Drew Bledsoe's for the um, Drew Breeses, for the uh, Eli Mannings, the Peyton Mannings, that type of quarterback, straight drop back, true in the pocket quarterback. League didn't really know how to handle a quarterback like Michael Vick. Michael Vick, um, when he was with the Eagles, he actually had his best, his passing, his, he had the most passing yards he ever had in one season. In in 2010, he threw the ball 372 times. He completed 233 of them for a 62, almost 63% pass complete ratio for 3,018 yards. He had 21 touchdowns and six interceptions. He had a passer rating of 100.2. He also ran for um, 676 yards that year and nine touchdowns. His best rushing year was in 2006. He ran for over 1,000 yards. He ran for 1,039 yards. You know, it's rare for a quarterback to run for 1,000 yards. Very rare. I mean, in the long history of the NFL, it's a rarity. In 2002 with the Falcons, uh, Michael Vick, he attempted 421 passes. He completed 231 of them. For about 55% complete ratio, 2,900 yards, just over 2,900 yards, 16 touchdowns, 8 interceptions, 81.6 rating, and he, he rushed for 777 yards and 8 touchdowns. So, it's just in my, in my thinking, I really believe that if Michael Vick, a young Michael Vick, could be coached up by some of these coaches now who know how to appreciate they know how to coach these type of players. They're open to coaching athletes at quarterback. I think it was more of a burden on coaches to have an athlete like that uh, and when he was drafted. I think now they understand how to pass protect for him, what type of design plays. I mean, I think when Michael Vick was playing quarterback in the NFL, a lot of, a lot of those plays, a lot of those rushing yards were just on scrambles. A lot of those rushing yards were just him running around making plays. Not really design runs. I mean, back then they might have had a QB sweep form where he just took the ball and just ran to the right or left behind some blockers and tried to just beat everybody with speed to the corner. Not a lot of imagination in it. Maybe sometimes they ran a bootleg and when he bootlegged out, there was an opening he just took off running. But like I look at the offenses now, they got all, you know, for, for Josh Allen and other quarterbacks, like they have all types of plays designed for the quarterback to run the ball. And it just makes it so hard on a defense when you have an athlete that like that, a quarterback. There's not many athletes that the, that the court, that have played the quarterback position that have the athleticism that Michael Vick had and the arm strength. I mean, the guy can throw the ball nearly 80 yards on a rope. So I think if Michael Vick played in today's NFL, he would be amazing. 
it would be it would be a sight to see Michael Vick in today's league. What do you think? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and message. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. Good or bad, what do you think? Thanks for listening.